Meghan joins the Queen for first time on Buckingham Palace balcony as the monarch recovers from cataract operation and ditches her sunglasses to celebrate her official 92nd birthday. The Duchess of Sussex made her debut on the Buckingham Palace balcony today, alongside Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Queen celebrating her 92nd birthday, and an assortment of playful young royals. Fresh from their rumoured honeymoon spent in company, Mayo, Ireland, the newlyweds cut happy and relaxed figures as they paid tribute to Her Majesty at the Trooping the Colour Ceremony, at Whitehall's Horse Guard Parade. The Queen, who flashed a wide smile after seeing Charles, Andrew, and William, as well as Princess Anne ride horseback past her carriage for the procession, was finally able to ditch her sunglasses following a cataract operation three weeks ago. Harry and Meghan were pictured riding in a carriage together, where the new Duchess had the opportunity to show off her royal wave, and then joined her new in-laws on the balcony for the first time to watch the ref fly past. Although the dramatic aerial display proved unmissable viewing for the older royals, many of the younger brood found other ways to entertain themselves, including endless chatter from Prince George, who had to be shushed by the seven-year-old great-granddaughter of the Queen, Savannah Phillips. While Princess Charlotte found the event overwhelming and needed comforting by her doting mother Kate, however, the event did not go without mishap, after 79-year-old Field Marshal Charles Guthrie fell from his horse and landed heavily on his head as he rode outside of the palace earlier in the day. He was rushed to hospital where his condition remains unknown, and a 52-year-old woman was taken into custody after throwing an object at the procession as it passed by. Tens of thousands of cheering royal enthusiasts flocked to Whitehall to see the royals mingle on the balcony, with Meghan and Kate sharing a chuckle while Harry watched on. Meghan wore a dress by Carolina Herrera and a hat by Philip Tracy, while Kate wore a dress by Alexander McQueen and a hat by Juliet Botero. Camilla was in a pale blue silk dress and coat by Bruce Oldfield and a hat by Philip Tracy and the Queen wore a sky blue coat and dress by Stuart Parvin, and a hat by Angela Kelly. Moving along the procession earlier today, the Duchess of Cornwall and Duchess of Cambridge were in a carriage together while a third carried Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie the Countess of Wessex and her daughter Lady Louise. Trooping the Colour is a ceremonial spectacle that brings together prestigious regiments and the families of the serving men and women in celebration of the monarch's official birthday. Stands lining horse guards were filled with the wives, girlfriends and parents of the servicemen who when not performing ceremonial duties are fighting soldiers. Meghan, Harry and the other members of the royal family took their place in Wellington's former office which overlooks the parade ground. The Queen soon made her entrance onto horse guards in Anaska Landau after making her journey from her famous London home Buckingham Palace. Her procession was accompanied by a sovereign's escort of the household cavalry, made up of lifeguards and blues and royals, in their silver and gold breastplates and plumed helmets. The 7,500 guests seated in stands lining the parade ground stood as a mark of respect as the monarch arrived and began inspecting the massed ranks of the troops. The Duke of Edinburgh, who celebrates his 97th birthday on Sunday, has retired from official public duties and did not attend. But the Queen was accompanied by the royal colonels, all on horseback, Prince of Wales, Colonel of the Welsh Guards, the Princess Royal, Colonel of the Blues and Royals, and the Duke of Cambridge. Colonel of the Irish Guards. Also riding in the ceremony for the first time was the Duke of York in his new role as Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. Among the guests was Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson. The Prime Minister Theresa May normally attends but is at a G7 meeting of world leaders in Canada. The colour troop this year was the flag of the 1st Battalion Coldstream Guards. Trooping the colour originated from traditional preparations for battle. Colours, or flags, were carried or trooped, down the rank so that they could be seen and recognized by the soldiers. In the 18th century, guards from the royal palaces assembled daily on horse guards to troop the colors, and in 1748 it was announced that the parade would also mark the sovereign's official birthday. The Queen's actual birthday was on April 21 when she turned 92. The massed bands of the Household Division and the Mounted Band of the Household Calvary provided the musical backing for the ceremony. While also taking part was the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery, who will fire a 41-gun salute in Green Park to mark the Queen's official birthday.
The color was first trooped through the ranks of soldiers before the guardsmen marched past the queen, first in slow then in quick time. As the ceremony came to an end, the thousands in the stands were treated to the sight of the blues and royals and lifeguards from the household cavalry regiment. The mounted soldiers and officers in their gleaming breastplates and plumed helmets rode past the queen with the horses throwing up dust. Not all event goers were on their best behavior, however, with woman woman arrested after throwing an object at the procession. Scotland Yard said that a woman has been arrested after an object was thrown at the troop in the color procession. A spokesman said, a 51-year-old woman was arrested for a public order offense after an item was thrown towards a procession at the Trooping the Colour. She is currently in custody at a central London police station. In the 18th century, guards from the royal palaces assembled daily on horse guards to troop the colours and in 1748 it was announced that the parade would also mark the sovereign's official birthday. The Queen's actual birthday was on April 21 when she turned 92. In honour of Her Majesty's birthday, members of the Australian Defence Force ADF, performed a 21-gun salute to celebrate Queen Elizabeth II's birthday holiday weekend at the Shrine of Remembrance in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Turban-wearing Coldstream Guard soldier will make history at Trooping the Colour as the first soldier to parade in Sikh headdress. A Coldstream Guard soldier who will wear a turban as he parades during Trooping the Colour has said he hopes it is looked upon as a new change in history. More than 1,000 soldiers will take part in the ceremony which marks the Queen's official birthday on Saturday as the nation honours the monarch. For Guardsman Tranpreet Singh Law the event is not only his first Trooping the Colour, but also marks the first time a member of the Coldstream Guards has taken part wearing a turban. The 22-year-old from Leicester told the said, I hope that people watching, that they will just acknowledge it and that they will look at it as a new change in history. I hope that more people like me, not just Sikhs but from other religions and different backgrounds, that they will be encouraged to join the army. A member of the 1st Battalion Coldstream Guards, the turban he will be wearing during Trooping the Colour will be black featuring the ceremonial cap star to match the bearskin hats. GDSM Lal who joined the British Army in January 2016, was born in Punjab, India, and moved to the UK as a baby, said he is feeling quite excited ahead of the event. I'm quite proud and I know that a lot of other people are proud of me as well, he said. It is a good feeling. There's going to be a lot of eyes and I am going to have an influence on other people. Trooping the color originated from traditional preparations for battle. Colors, or flags, were carried, or trooped, down the ranks so they could be seen and recognized by the soldiers. In the 18th century, guards from the royal palaces assembled daily on horse guards to troop the colors, and in 1748 it was announced the parade would also mark the sovereign's official birthday. This year the ceremony, which is staged every June in London's historic Horse Guards Parade, will see the color of the 1st Battalion the Coldstream Guards being trooped. With weeks of rigorous training under his belt, on the day he and many other soldiers will wear immaculate uniforms and march with precision up the mall and onto parade. GDSM Lal added, For myself, being the first turban-wearing Sikh to troop the color and to be part of the escort it is a really high honor for myself, and hopefully for everyone else as well. He revealed his family including his mother, father and sister, who were really, really proud of him, will be coming to watch him take part. My mum was crying on the day I passed out so I wonder what is going to happen to her when she sees me in this, GDSM Lal added.